The history and evolution of laptops describes the efforts, begun in the 1970s, to build small, portable personal computers that combine the components, inputs, outputs and capabilities of a desktop computer in a small chassis. Now sit back and watch to the end of this video as I reveal to you the full history of laptops. The evolution of laptops all started in 1982 when the first laptop grid compass was made. The first laptop in the modern form was the 16-bit grid compass 1101, designed by Bill Moggridge. Enclosed in a magnesium case, it introduced the now familiar clamshell design, in which the flat display folded shut against the keyboard. In 1983, we had Dolmont Magnum Laptop. The first contender for true laptop computing was the 16-bit Dolmont Magnum, designed by David Irwin and John Blair of Dulmason. This battery-powered device included an 80-character times 8-line display in a lid that closed against the keyboard. Later on in 1984, Sharp and Gavelin laptops were made. The Gavelin was notably the first computer to be marketed as a laptop. It was equipped with an internal floppy disk drive and a pioneering touchpad-like pointing device, installed on a panel above the keyboard. Like the grid compass, the Gavelin and the Sharp were housed in clamshell cases. In 1985, Bondwell 2 was made. Bondwell 2 used an 8-bit Z80 CPU running at 4 MHz, had 64 KBs of RAM, and a 3.5 floppy disk drive built in, which was unusual for CPM laptops. The flip-up LCD display's resolution was 640 by 200 pixels. Still in 1985, Kpro 2000 was invented. Possibly the first commercial IBM-compatible laptop was the 816-bit Kpro 2000, introduced in 1985. With its brushed aluminum clamshell case, it was remarkably similar in design to modern laptops. It featured a 25-line by 80-character LCD, a detachable keyboard, and a pop-up 90mm floppy drive. In 1985, Toshiba launched the 816-bit Toshiba T1100 in 1985, and has subsequently described it as the world's first mass-market laptop computer. It did not have a hard drive, and ran entirely from floppy disks. The CPU was a 4.77 MHz Intel 80C88. It was followed in 1987 by the T1000 and T1200. In 1986, IBM PC Convertible was introduced. Also among the first commercial IBM-compatible laptops was the 816-bit IBM PC Convertible, introduced in 1986. It had a CGA-compatible LCD and two floppy drives. It weighed 13 pounds which is 5.9 kilogram. In 1987, ZDS Supersport was invented. The first laptops successful on a large scale came in large part due to a request for proposal by the U.S. Air Force in 1987. This contract would eventually lead to the purchase of over 200,000 laptops. Competition to supply this contract was fierce in the major PC companies of the time. In 1987, HP released a portable version of their 16-bit Vectra CS computer. It had the classic laptop configuration, keyboard and monitor closes up clamshell style, however, it was very heavy and fairly large. It had a full-size keyboard and a large amber LCD screen. In 1988, we had Cambridge Z88. Another notable computer was the 8-bit Cambridge Z88, designed by Clive Sinclair, introduced in 1988. About the size of an A4 sheet of paper as well, it ran on standard batteries, and contained basic spreadsheet, word processing, and communications programs. By the end of the 1980s, laptop computers were becoming popular among business people. The 16-bit Compaq SLT-286 debuted in October 1988, being the first battery-powered laptop to support an internal hard disk drive and a VGA-compatible LCD screen. It weighed 14 pounds. In 1989 NEC Ultralight was made. The NEC Ultralight, released in mid-1989, was perhaps the first notebook computer, weighing just 2 kilograms, which was achieved by obviating floppy or hard drive, it was powered by the NEC V3016 bit CPU. The very restrictive 2 megabyte RAM drive cramped the product's utility. In September 1989, Apple Macintosh Portable was invented. Apple's first laptop product was the 16-bit lead acid battery powered 7.2 kg Macintosh Portable released in September 1989. The portable pioneered inclusion of a pointing device, a trackball, in the laptop sphere. 
In in June 2007, netbooks were invented. Asus announced the EEE PC701 to be released in October. Laptop with 4GB SDHC disk and a 7-inch screen. Despite previous attempts to launch small lightweight computers such as Ultra Portable PC, the EEE was the first success story. In 2008, we had Apple MacBook Air. The reason why Apple appears so many times on this list is it's easily the most disruptive computer company. Whether you like iOS or Android, you can't deny Apple consistently pushed the envelope in Mac products. In 2008, Apple debuted the thinnest laptop in the world, the MacBook Air. In 2009, smart books were introduced. In 2009, Qualcomm introduced a new term smart book, which stands for a hybrid device between smartphone and laptop. In 2012, Microsoft Surface was made. After companies experimented for years, the Surface was one of the first to get the tablet and laptop combination right. Often considered a tablet more than a laptop, it still technically functions as a laptop with an adjustable kickstand and keyboard. Finally, we have gotten to the end of this video. If you found value in this video, kindly like this video and share it with your friends. If you are new here, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you will receive our videos immediately we upload. Thanks for watching.